Welcome to sermons from St. Paul's Lutheran Church of Minot, North Dakota. St. Paul's is anchored in the message of Christ crucified for the forgiveness of sins, for the church and for the world. The following sermon is from Rev. Dr. Matthew Richard. Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, what have I told you, that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may also be. And you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. My friends, some well-meaning people will try to tell you that death is just a natural part of life. That it is something that we simply need to accept and deal with. But if that were true, we should not be here mourning the loss of Robert. In fact, if death is just a natural part of life, then we really should not show any concern over the death of a loved one. We should just shrug it off as a natural part of life the way that nature seems not to care about the death of a sparrow. And yet, regardless of people telling us that death is a natural part of life, we find ourselves here this morning in this church. In fact, we take time off from work, from school, to gather together in a funeral such as this. And the reason why this is so is that a family member, a friend, a loved one, has been taken away. Death has swallowed up another victim, and each of us, each of you, feel that pain and that sadness, that separation that death brings about. Therefore, what you feel today is not the way that things should be. It most definitely is not. In other words, death is not natural. It is not just another part of life that we need to learn to accept and move on with life. Death no, it brings sadness. It brings mourning. It is not what God created you for. You see, God never created any of us. God did not create Robert to die. That is why there is this cramp of pain inside you and me, that shadow of anxiety lurking about in the midst of death. Because when we see a loved one who dies and falls to the veil of tears like Robert, taken down to the grave, well, we are reminded that it is just a matter of time before death comes to us as well. And as we consider death, we must confess that no matter how brave we are, death itself, it stirs up in our hearts and our minds. It stirs them up. It stirs and strips away calmness in us. It strips away confidence in us. And it disturbs our thoughts causing us to toss and turn at night many times. Dear friends, we were not created for death. Robert was not created for death as well. However, because of sin that entered our world through Adam and Eve, death is at work in our bodies. Sin is what kills, sin is what strikes fear into our hearts, and it is what covers us in darkness. This anxiety and distress that we experience are not the way it was intended to be. And so we live under this thick, dark veil of tears. We live under the uncertainty of death. We live under the discomfort of death. And we live under the fear of death, especially this day, as we gather here in this church to remember and to grieve the loss of Robert. Difficult to hear. Here we sit. Here we shuffle in our seats under the thick, dark veil of tears, and here we are troubled with hearts 
and anxiety full of trouble. Here we sit with troubled hearts and anxious thoughts. And you know, maybe if we listen hard enough, we might hear death. Death's laughter off in the distance as it attempts to press in on us. But my friends, pause for a moment. Lift up those chins and look where you are at. You are here in a church. No church, just any ordinary church. It is Christ's church. Jesus' holy ark. You are not here to listen to the laughter of death. Oh no, you are not here to sit under the thick, dark veil of death. You are not here to embrace your troubled hearts and anxious thoughts and let them run rampant. No, you are here in this funeral service and in this church to hear what the Lord has to say about death and what the Lord has to say about Robert. So listen, my friends, what the Lord says to you in his word this day. We heard in our gospel reading, Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. What comforting words. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not let your hearts be troubled because Jesus is the way out of this veil of death. You see, as our Savior, Jesus gave himself to death on that cross. He did it for you and he did it for me and he did it for Robert. Jesus, the one who had no sin of his own, he gave himself for us because of his love for you, for me, and for Robert. He took all the sins of the world, all of your sins, all of Robert's mind, the sins of the world, and he put them upon his shoulders, and he carried them to that place of the skull called Golgotha, where he received the punishment and the wages of our sin. What this means is that Jesus willingly gave his life in our place. He died Robert's death so that Robert might have Jesus' life and have it indeed to the fullest. You see, Jesus has gone before Robert into the grave. And you know, as he went into that grave, he opened a gaping hole in the belly of death. You see, the grave could not hold on to our Lord Jesus Christ because Jesus is life himself. Jesus has overcome sin. He's overcome death in the grave. And because Jesus rose from the clutches of the tomb, we too, with Robert, <laughs> will rise from our graves to serve and worship him for all eternity in his kingdom, which has no end. What a blessed gospel truth for us to hear. This is Jesus' word. His promise that he makes to you in the reading from John's gospel this morning for each and every one of you. He says, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, what have I told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I will take you to myself, that where I am you may also be. You see, Jesus Christ is the way out of this veil of tears, Jesus Christ is the way out of death, the veil of death, the darkness and the shadow of death. Jesus is our joy in today's sadness, our life and death. Let not your hearts be troubled, dear blessed friends. Jesus says, believe in God, believe also in me. And so this day, we do believe, because Jesus has graciously called us and enlightened us by his Holy Spirit. Through his holy word and the sacrament of baptism, he has brought Robert and you and me to faith in himself. Jesus has brought us to believe in him and to trust in him that he has made a way out of this present veil of tears and this present veil of sadness. You see, that faith which trusts in him, in his death and resurrection and the salvation and eternal life given to us, is that faith that is a gift to us. And the Holy Spirit lovingly keeps and preserves us in that faith until we are brought into everlasting life, whether that be when we close our eyes in death and open them in his glorious presence, like Robert, or when Jesus comes again on the clouds to gather his church home. In the meantime, my friends, the Lord fills us with his grace and strengthens us through his word and sacraments. 
All we need do is stand in the shower of his goodness and his mercy, placing ourselves squarely in front of the altar of his church to eat and to drink deeply of the gifts he has for us, this life and salvation in his holy supper, his word for us. In his mercy, our Savior will keep our faith alive and growing. It is in that same mercy that we commend our dear brother Robert today to God's keeping until the day of the resurrection. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Jesus is the victor over death. Jesus is the victor over sin. Jesus is the victor over the grave. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Christ rose from the grave. Christ reigns today. Christ is alive. And Christ promises to take his own unto himself, to never leave and to never forsake us. Now the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Strong word, he speaks us righteous, bright with thine own holiness. Thank you for listening to today's podcast sermon. You can access a full manuscript of today's sermon from Pastor Matthew Richard's blog at www.pastormatrichard.org or visit St. Paul's website at www.stpaulsminot.org. The Lord bless and keep you.